What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media, and greetings to you all. Happy Friday. I want to get drunk. Do you want to get drunk? Because I want to get drunk. Drunk. Um, before I get to some entire uh, Destiny news, I want to get started with this VG Charts news that you know everyone needs to know about. Because yes, I like to give out these numbers as they come available. I just do. Uh, we all know the number one uh, game in the country, or damn near the world, is basically Destiny, and PS4 is basically leading the charge with about 2,265,000, and Xbox One with 1,373,000. I'm not a fanboy. This is this is what it is. It's what it is. Um, if you go with actual hardware sales for the whole entire uh, month, basically, you have the weekly sales charts of PS4. At about 472,000 and uh, Xbox One at 171,000. I ain't gonna say nothing. Just putting it out there. It's over. It's over. War is done. Now, uh, moving on from that news, uh, a lot of people were loving this whole entire loot cave, um, and now it's gone. And I'm gonna get started with some of this bungee drama that basically came about. Uh, one of the things that they came out there and said uh, in their own entire dev notes when they wanted to pretend like they care about what people think, uh, they said loot. He who shall not be lit be named. They got started with the whole entire cryptarch. See, cryptarch is basically the reason why the loot cave existed. It's the reason why people even bothered to sit there and farm all day. You think people wanted to sit there for four hours shooting at a black hole hoping to get a bunch of gold? Is that what you thought? No. See, you get these cool angiogram, anagrams, whatever they are, and you take them to them and it says legendary, blue, ultimate, superpower, mighty morphin power ranger thing. And you give it to them and then you get another one of those Exxon helmets. That's why that loot cave existed. See, the Luke Cave was a, a way for people to vent their frustration at Destiny, at, at, at Bungie as a whole, for making this game so damn broken. And it's so addictive, but it's so broken. It was their way of sticking it to the man. And we all want to stick it to the man. No one likes when the man tells us what to do, but the man is telling us what to do yet again. So basically, they came out there and they acknowledged a bunch of problems that people were having. And yes, they said, loot, he should not be named. Cryptarch basically, uh, you know, decoded uh, anagrams or whatever the hell they're called. Uh, yeah, in 2014, they wanted to add randomness because originally they were going to just give you the color of the stuff that you get, which is what everyone really wants. And they said, uh, yeah, we added randomness and it makes things exciting. And Cryptarch himself suddenly acquires a personality. What personality? Where? Am I having jokes with him? No, I decode my stuff and I move on. I don't care if he smiles. I don't care if he laughs. I don't care. I don't care. And uh, basically, that whole entire cave was shut down. They go ahead. They went ahead and killed it. And they said, uh, you know, farming is amazing. And you know, uh, everyone heading to a heading or hoarding up a team of guardians behind a line firing at a in the right direction, the rush to grab the loot, the scramble, the panic of the wave starts, the beckoning glow from inside the cave, the speed at which the community organized around this activity was inspiring and humbling to us, but shooting at a black hole for hours on end is not the dream of how Destiny is played. Our hope is that a social engagement in public spaces is only part of the Destiny experience. Blah, 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 blah. It's not fair. Now, I went there to this cave because one of my uh, subs brought me to this cave and I was just wasn't feeling it. You know, I was there for like maybe two minutes and I was like, oh, shoot at the cave. Well, that's not my style, but um, I can understand why people wanted to hang out by that cave because I get frustrated. I go on these long missions for about an hour and I get Exxon helmet. That's it. That's all you get is busted ass hood clothes that you can't even wear after level 20 after level 20 stop giving me the same damn helmet if i can't trade it what am i supposed to use it for what this is me venting my frustration and the same frustration that all other gamers are having right now and uh yes i can understand it's not fair and they had to patch it they were going to patch it eventually but this is your fault 
you made the, it so hard to get anything in this game that people have to resort to this to be able to get ahead. If all people had to do was go fight in a crucible and do these raids to get levels up like it was at before level 20, this loot cave didn't exist. No one cared about it. It was all the way up to level 20. Make it like that again, please. Um, yes, they also went on to talk about, uh, you know, rewards and celebrations and, you know, other ridiculous things that no one really cares about. Social, uh, you know, people having voice communications with other players. And yes, they said that, you know, having voice communications with players is important and, you know, they really do want to do it. It's just, you know, they want to make sure that people aren't going to get like cussed out and worry about the small percentage of people saying racist things and all this other good stuff. That's part of the fun of Destiny. That's part of the fun of multiplayer games. You think Call of Duty would be so fun if people couldn't call me the N-word? They can't say it in real life. Where are they supposed to say it? I'm just kidding, of course. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, this is like what happens when you play a game across the globe and you're playing with other people. This is going to happen. If you don't like it, get out. Um, yes, and they also, you know, went ahead and they talked about uh, activities and strikes and they, they were tended to be fun and, you know, but they noticed that it was an issue where we were taking too much damage, where the players take too much damage and the bosses seem to never die no matter how many times you shoot them. Yes, they said that changes are coming soon to that. They wanted to balance out the weapons by basically destroying them. All of your auto rifles are too powerful and they, their range is too great from sniping ability. So we're going to dumb the game, the rifles down. The sky rifles need to be more powerful, so they're going to be more powerful. Shotguns and range needs to be dropped down because it's just not good enough. Look, you are you created a busted game. You barely give us any guns. You barely give us any loot. You barely give us any stuff to be able to get to this level that you want us to get to. And then the stuff that we do have, you're going to hobble it because it's just not fair. Make up your mind. I'm about to leave this damn game and I'm going off about seven minutes right now. It's about seven minutes in. I am straight about to abandon this game. I mean, Shadow of Mordor is coming out. There's other games coming out this year. If I need to just go play multiplayer, I might as well go get Call of Duty. I'm sorry, this game is going to turn into Titanfall like this. It, who's playing Titanfall? Before y'all try to defend Titanfall, who's playing it? What does that say? You see someone saying, man, I need to go play a Titanfall. Come on. You're not playing Titanfall. It's done. It's dead. Um, this problem right here is it, this game is the problem. I don't understand. And I know I'm rambling right now because it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. But come on, man. What do you want this game to be? How is this rank system going to work? At level 20, and you got this fake level where people are like, oh, man, you're only a level 21, or you're only a level 22, I'm a level 29. It's not real rank. It's not your real level. It's not real. You put on your helmet, and now you're a level 29. You take it off, and you're a level 25. It's not real rank. So when a DLC comes out and expansion packs come out, how is it going to work? Is it that you can't put on level 40 armor unless you're wearing all level 30 armor and then you get to add it on, but once you remove it, you add on the... It's just stupid. It's stupid. This armor ranking system needs to go. It's stupid. Stupid. I don't know. I'm just random, man. I'm just random. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm done talking. I, I just had to go off a little bit real quick because cause, uh, I'm frustrated with this game because I love it. It's a fun, exciting game. I'm addicted to it. But there's nothing to be addicted to anymore. I'm just sitting in orbit like, what should I do now? What am I going to do? That's what this turned into. Floating in orbit, trying to figure out something to do. Hmm. Hmm. That's all it is. I'm sorry. It's falling off right now. starting to fall off. Bungie, fix your shit. Fix it. Fix it. Uh, that's all the news I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. So you know this news. My news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holler at y'all later.